This video contains 101 facts about Southeastern, and it starts right now. Southeastern is a fascinating franchise. The train operating company covers a very important part of the national network from London to Kent, running on both third rail commuter lines and the famous High Speed One network. In this first part of a brand new series, we look at 101 different facts about Southeastern. The train operating company name is actually London and South Eastern Railway Limited. They trade as South Eastern and run the so-called Integrated Kent franchise. South Eastern is owned by Govia, who also own the Thameslink, Southern and Great Northern franchise, which in turn has a number of brands in its portfolio. The present day South Eastern started operations from the 1st of April 2006. The new train operating company took over from the South Eastern Trains franchise. The South Eastern Trains franchise had taken over from the failed Connex South Eastern brand. To go even further back in time, Connex South Eastern had taken over from the South Eastern franchise following the privatisation of British Rail. Prior to that, it was part of the fabled Network South East, a name that will stir many memories for its famous red, blue and white colour scheme. The integrated Kent franchise had initially been let for eight years though the plan was always to push for an extension to this as they came closer to a renewal date. This has happened on several occasions, with at least half a dozen short to medium term renewals to the original agreement. Thanks to a new government contract, the latest extension means South Eastern is here to stay until at least 2022, as it continues to provide vital services for key workers during the pandemic. Here's a look at South Eastern's route map. Its northernmost station is London St Pancras. Its most westerly station isn't far away, across at London, Victoria. Its most easterly calling point is Broadstairs on the Kent coastline. And the southernmost point on its network can be found at West St Leonard's, down on the Hastings line. In total, South Eastern manage 173 stations across London and South East, along with parts of East Sussex. In addition to the stations they manage, South Eastern trains call at 179 stations in total across the network. Two of these stations are only served during the morning peak. These stations are Bellingham and Crofton Park. South Eastern serves six of the major London stations, including Charing Cross, Victoria, Cannon Street, Waterloo East and St Pancras. The busiest station is London Victoria, second only to Waterloo in terms of passenger numbers. In total, their trains cover a radius of roughly 540 miles. Pre-pandemic, they served an average of 640,000 passengers across 2016 journeys every weekday. Southeastern's reporting mark is designated as SE. From January the 4th, 2021, new timetable changes have come into effect. With ticketing, Oyster cards are now valid from all Zone 1 to 9 stations. These travel card zones were extended to Dartford after a passenger outcry as they initially had to travel to Zone 6 stations such as Slade Green to tap in before continuing their journey. Very confusing. Southeastern splits its operations between three sub-brands. These sub-brands are called High Speed, Metro and Mainline. The High Speed service, which we'll cover in more detail shortly, runs from London St Pancras to Ramsgate, Ashford International and Dover Priory. The mainline trains run from London Victoria and Charing Cross to the likes of Ramsgate, Dover, Tonbridge, Hastings, Dartmouth and even across to the Isle of Sheppey to Sheerness-on-Sea. The metro services predominantly cover the commuter routes around South East London, though they also travel out as far as Dartmouth. One of the most interesting features of South Eastern's network is the Greenwich Line. Part of it follows the old London and Greenwich Railway route, which opened between 1833 and 1836. It was the very first steam railway to be built within the capital, and it was also the very first entirely elevated railway. Interestingly, the line was electrified by the Southern Railway as far back as 1923. Another one of South Eastern's most popular historical routes is the Hastings Line, built by the old South Eastern Railway in stages from 1845 to 1852 in direct competition against the London Brighton and South Coast Railway. A unique feature of the Hastings Line is its eight different tunnels. These can be passed through at Summerhill, Wells, Grove Hill, Strawberry Hill, Wadhurst, Mountfield, Bo Peep and Hastings itself. 
The Chatham Main Line is one of the busiest on the Southeastern network. This was originally opened by the London Chatham and Dover Railway Company, a competitor of the original Southeastern Railway. For a period between 1994 and 2007, part of the Chatham Main Line was home to the Eurostar Class 373s, which travelled from Waterloo International to Folkestone via Tunbridge. To cope with modern demand and longer train services, a new station was to be built at Rochester to replace the original building which had stood since the early 1890s. Construction started in early 2014 and the new station was officially opened on the 13th of December 2015. The new Rochester station can cope with 12-car trains as opposed to the original 10-car capacity. Though not part of Southeastern's operations, the Angustine Wharf Freight branch line comes off from the national network within Greenwich. The trains coming in, to and from this freight-only route travel along much of the Southeastern network. It boasts a unique foot crossing, one of the only type of its kind in all of London. Click on the link showing above for more information about this unique line. There are currently 392 trains listed in Southeastern's fleet. The majority of Southeastern trains run on the third rail power system. However, a unique feature of the company are their High Speed 1 operations from London St Pancras, sharing part of the same system as the international Eurostar trains. Those trains running on the HS1 network are powered by the Lightning Quick Class 395 units. These speedsters of the Southeastern fleet were built by Japanese company Hitachi and came into service from 2009. They can run on both overhead wires and third rail power. 29 of these sets were built and are numbered accordingly from 395001 to 395029. They were built as six-car sets, often running in tandem on the HS1 network to form 10-car trains. The units are nicknamed Javelins. This nickname comes from the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games, where Southeastern ran the Olympic Javelin shuttle services to accommodate passengers attending the Games. The nickname has stuck ever since. Keeping with the Olympic theme, lots of members of the class have been named after legendary Team GB Olympic and Paralympic athletes. Examples include the likes of Alastair Brownlee, Rebecca Adlington, Ellie Simmons, Sebastian Coe, Chris Hoy and Steve Redgrave to name a few. They are the fastest domestic high-speed trains on the UK network. Only the Eurostar units are able to reach higher speeds as part of their international services. The propulsion system of the Class 395 comprises of 16 electric motors, each rated to produce 210 kilowatts that work in conjunction with four IGBT converter and inverter units. One of the class currently sits third on the all-time UK speed list. While the units have a designated top speed of 140 miles per hour, one unit reached an incredible 157 miles per hour during a test run on the HS1 route in 2008. Switching gears, Southeastern's current fleet includes five other classes. These are the class 375s, 376s and 377s of the Electrostar family and the old faithful Networker class 465s and 466s. The class 375s run many of the key mainline services for Southeastern. There are 10 three-car units and 102 four-car units. The majority of these are paired up together, with walk-through corridors at each end, allowing passengers to move between the units. A few of the 375s have been given names. Here we can see 375623 Hospice in the Well and number 375823, which boasts the long name of Ashford, proudly served by rail for 175 years. The units have a maximum speed of 100 miles an hour. Southeastern also run 25 examples of the very similar looking Class 377s. Eight of these units were transferred over by Thameslink in 2016, before being joined by an additional 17 units thereafter. These units are actually serviced and maintained at Selhurst Depot, which is run by Southern Trains. They run along the Southeastern, Chatham and Maidstone East main lines. Class 376s were originally ordered from Bombardier's Derby Works by Connex Southeastern in 2004 and have since worked for that company's successors. 36 of these units have been built and they mainly run on the high density commuter routes in southeast London and Kent, predominantly running between London to Dartford and London to Orpington. Only one of these units is named. The first of the class, number 376001, seen here, is named Alan Doggett after a railway employee. They have a top speed of 75 miles per hour. While the 395 Javelins are the modern flagship of the Southeastern, a case can also be made that the old faithful 465s and 466 networkers are every bit as worthy of the honour of being a company mascot.
These are the oldest trains in Southeastern's fleet that are still in operation. These mainstay units have now been in service for 30 years. They were operated by Network Southeast until 1996, Connex Southeastern until 2003, Southeastern Trains until 2006, and now Southeastern to the present day. With the 465s, 147 of these sets were built from 1991 to 1994. At the time of making this video, all of them are still listed as being in service. Confusingly, there have actually been three different manufacturers of these classes, which were Metro Camel, British Railways Engineering Limited, and ABB Rail, all at different stages. They were originally brought in to replace old slam door classes, including class 415s, 416s, and 423s. In 2005, 34 of the 465 stroke 2 sets were given an extensive refurbishment at Doncaster Works. These were then renumbered as part of the 465 stroke 9 series. The class 466s were built by Metro Camel in the early 90s. They comprise of two car units, which are often coupled together with their classmates, or often with a couple of their sister class 465s to form 10 car trains. 43 of these sets were built, and like the 465s, these are all still listed as being in service today at the time of making this video. They also received an extensive refurbishment at Doncaster between 2011 and 2013. Really, you could do a whole 101 facts feature about these popular networker classes, but we'll wrap up the networker section by listing their top speeds, both of which can run up to 75 miles per hour. Since Southeastern began operations, only one class has been withdrawn from service. These came in the form of 12 Class 508s. They were inherited from the failed Connex Southeastern franchise. They didn't last long under the new regime, quickly being replaced by the Class 466s on their primary routes. All of these units have been scrapped, with the exception of one vehicle each from numbers 508201 and 209, which are now in departmental use. Looking ahead, a first set of new trains in over a decade will soon enter service. 30 of the Zero City Class 707s are to be transferred from the South Western Railway Company. It's hoped that the new acquisition will help boost capacity on the Southeastern network. The lease for these units was agreed in April 2020, though they have yet to enter service with Southeastern. They were built between 2015 and 2018. They were built by Siemens Mobility in Germany, along with other classes of the Zero City family of trains. They can run at a maximum speed of 100 miles per hour. Southeastern has 13 listed depot locations. These depots all have storage facilities for rolling stock, either via sidings or full-on workshops. These depots can be found at Ashford, Dartford, Dover, Faversham, Gillingham, Grove Park, Hastings, Charing Cross, London Victoria, Orpington, Ramsgate, Slade Green and Tonbridge. They operate a smart video security system to secure their different depots. These devices run on machine learning algorithms to automatically sound alarms when faced with security threats. The company's Slade Green Depot was opened in 1899 by the South Eastern and Chatham Railway. Part of the original engine shed still stands today at the depot, which predominantly houses the Class 376, 465 and 466 EMU fleet. Slade Green Station was opened on the 1st of July 1900 in order to serve the growing community, largely coming to being because of the depot's existence. The site itself is today owned by Network Rail, though the trains are all operated and maintained by Southeastern staff. During the Kent lorry driver crisis at the end of 2020, Southeastern teamed up with Network Rail to hand out donations from station shops. The food was offloaded at Ashford International Station and distributed by the Salvation Army. In August 2020, they became the first operating company to share train load data directly with passengers so that they understand carriage capacity before boarding services and social distance more effectively. Southeastern has 3.6 thousand YouTube subscribers. They have 235,000 Twitter followers, 23.6 thousand followers on Facebook, and just shy of 7,000 followers on Instagram. For more information about Southeastern, you can visit southeasternrailway.co.uk. I hope you enjoyed watching this video about 101 facts about Southeastern. If you found it interesting, then please hit us with a thumbs up, leave a comment and click subscribe for more weekly rail content just like this. Bye for now.